Hi everyone welcome to SAP World. In this video we will learn about Dunning in Account Receivable. This is very important topic in SAP FICO. Dunning is the process of sending Dunning notices to customers with overdue payment items, requesting payment of the outstanding amount by a specified date. To help you track open invoices and monitor the payment behavior of your customers. It also includes the last done date, last used Dunning level and others. Define Dunning Area T-Code OB61 Click on New Entry Enter Company Code Give any two characters in Dunning Area Enter Text in Text Field Click on enter. Ignore the warning message we will fix it in next configuration steps. Click on save. Define Dunning procedures. T code FBMP. Click on new procedure. Give any four characters for Dunning area. Enter text for Dunning procedure. For level Dunning process for time. Give Dunning intervals in days. Next give number of Dunning levels. Next give line item grace periods. Next select interest indicator. Select 02 for standard balance interest calculation. Next select standard transaction Dunning checkbox. Give Dunning procedure in reference Dunning procedure for texts. In Dunning intervals in days we given 10 days. It means it is a gap between for each level. In number of Dunning levels 3. The maximum length of Dunning levels 9. For each level we set a gap of 10 days in Dunning intervals in days. In line item grace periods we given 5 days. It means system will pick the invoice for Dunning after 5 days from the posting date. After 5 days of grace period system will consider it is overdue invoice. Next click Dunning text. Ignore the warning click again. Enter your company code. Here we have two options to select customer and vendor. We can use Dunning procedure for customer and vendor also. Select customer radio button. Click on OK. Select new company code. Click OK. Select separate notice per Dunning level checkbox. Click on back arrow. Click on yes. Click on save. Click on Dunning texts again. Select customer click OK. Give Dunning level 1. Inform field. F150 underscore done underscore 01. Give Dunning Level 2. Paste same text in Level 2. Give Dunning Level 3. Inform field. F150 underscore Dun underscore 02. First and second Dunning Level we given same script. In third Dunning Level we given 02. First and second Dunning letter content will be same. The third Dunning letter contains some extra content regarding lateness and interest on total due and increased Dunning charges. This forms a free defined SAP system. Designed by ABAP Consultant. Next click on Dunning Levels. First Dunning notice will generate after 5 days from invoice posting date. The second Dunning notice will generate after 10 days from the first Dunning notice date. 
if the invoice still in due. The third also same from second dunning date. Between 10 days gap of each level. Next select the check boxes in print parameters. And select always done in legal dunning procedure. We have options to select calculate interest at separate dunning levels on invoice due. Next click on charges. Give currency. Select Dunning Level 1. Give 2000 in from Dunning Amount field. Give 150 in Dunning Charges field. Next second Dunning Level. Give same amount and charges. Next Dunning Level 3. Dunning Amount 2000. Charges 200. Here we given 2000 in from Dunning Amount. It means this charge is applicable for 2000 and above invoices only. In Dunning Level 3 I have increased the charges. Depended on third Dunning Notice content and lateness of incoming payment, charges are increased. Next click on Minimum Amounts. Select Currency and click OK. Select First Dunning Level. Give 1000 in Minimum Amount field. Next second Dunning level. Amount 1000. Next third Dunning level. Amount 1000. Here we given 1000 in minimum amount field. It means the system will pick the invoice amount of 1000 and above only. Below 1000 invoices amount are not applicable for Dunning process. Click on back arrow. Click on Save. Next assign Dunning procedure to customers. T code FD02. Select Customer Account. Select Company Code. Click on Continue. Click on Company Code Data. Next select Correspondence. Update Dunning Procedure in Dunning Procedure field. Here we have fields like Last Dunning Date and Dunning Level. It will display Last Dunning Date and Last Dunning Level. Click on Save. Next select Customer 702. Click on Continue. Update Dunning Procedure in Dunning Procedure field. Click on Save. Next select Customer 703. Click on Continue. Update Dunning Procedure in Dunning Procedure field. Click on Save. Next post customer invoice. T code F-22. I am selecting document date and posting date 6 days earlier date. Select customer 701. Enter amount. Business area. Enter text. Select posting key 50. Select sales account. In amount field star. Business area. In text field plus. Go to Document Select Simulate. Click on Save. Document 404 was posted in Company Code Time. 
Next go to Document and select Post with Reference. Invoice number 404. Select Do Not Process Amount and Display Line Items. Select Customer 702. Enter Amount. In Amount Field Star. Change Value Date. Click on Save. Click on Save again. Post one more document with reference. Invoice number 405. Select Do Not Process Amounts and Display Line Items. Select Customer 703. Enter Amount. In Amount Field Star. Click on Save. Click on save again. Display customer line items. T code FBL 5N. Select customer number 701. And 703. Click on execute. This three invoices are overdue invoices from different customers accounts. By using this three invoices we will run Dunning process. Next Dunning. Entity code F150. Select Run Date. Give identification any four characters. Click on Parameters. Select Dunning Date. Select document posted up to. Enter posted invoice date. Enter company code. Select customers from 701 to 703. Click on status. Click on yes. Click on schedule. Output device LP01. Click continue. Select start immediately. Click on schedule. Click on enter. Three Dunning notices generated. Next click on Dunning printout. Output device LP01. Click on continue. Click on print. Click on Enter. Click on Dunning History. Select Company Code. Click on Execute. Dunning process successfully completed. We can see the Dunning history of three different customers. Select the amount 1500. Click on Display Dunning Notice. Click on Print Preview. Output device LP01. This is the Dunning notice of customer 701. In this notice includes customer invoice number. Total invoices due. Why there is no Dunning charges included. This invoice amount 1500 only. Because we set a limit of 2000 and above invoices only applicable for Dunning charges. Click on back arrow. Select 702 invoice amount. Click on print preview. Output device LP01. This is the Dunning notice for customer 702. Customer invoice number 405. This notice included. Total invoice due and Dunning charges. Invoice amount 5000. System applied Dunning charges of 150. 2000 and above invoice amount are applicable for Dunning charges. Click on back arrow. 
Select 703 invoice amount. Click on Display Dunning Notice and click on Print Preview. Output Device LP01. This is the Dunning Notice for Customer 703. Invoice number 406. Invoice amount due 10,000. And Dunning charges are included. Click on Back Arrow. We sent Dunning notices to output device LP01. Go to System. Select Services. Next Output Control. Click on Execute. Click on Script. We can see the same preview of Dunning notice in Output Control. Any number of Dunning notices we can see the preview by clicking page up and page down. Next check the last Dunning date and last Dunning level in customer accounts. T code FD02. Select customer account. Company code. Click OK. Click on Company Code Data. Click on Correspondence. We can see here last Dunning date updated. And last Dunning level is 1. I hope you all understand the process of Dunning. In this video we have learnt about the process of Dunning part of account receivable in SAP FICO. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.